Wiener here again with Electro Harmonics. This time I'm demonstrating the new MicroPog. The MicroPog is a polyphonic octave generator. What that means is that you can get more than one octave effect happening at the same time, which I'm about to demonstrate. Here we go. Let's take a look at the features of the MicroPog. The MicroPog is in Electro Harmonics XO series, which is the smaller series of pedals, but still has the great uh, original sound of all of the larger Electro Harmonics pedals. We've got input, we've got power, we've got two outputs here. We've got effect out and we've got dry out. For the demonstration, I'm only using effect out, but dry out is great for sending your signal completely unaffected to a separate amp. It's a pretty common procedure for guitarists to use two separate amps, one for dry and one for the effect, so that you have a nice mixture of your detailed, unaffected sound, along with any of the effects you want to add in with the other amp setup. We got, uh, of course, an on-off button, and we've got three knobs. We have dry, sub-octave, and octave up. The dry signal uh, I'm sorry, the dry knob mixes in your dry signal. Like I said, I have no dry output, so if this was all the way counterclockwise, we wouldn't hear anything. We're turning it completely clockwise because we're only using the effect output. Sub-octave mixes in the note or a group of notes that's one octave below what you're playing. If you've got it completely counterclockwise, you're not going to hear anything, and as you turn it, you're going to start to mix in the sub-octave note or group of notes. Fully, counter, fully clockwise is 100% mixed in octave. Same concept with the octave up. This is playing your note or group of notes that's one octave up from what you're playing. All the way counterclockwise is no effects and as you start turning it clockwise, you start to mix in the octave up notes. Let's hear a demonstration. Let's take a look at the sub-octave feature first. I'm plugged directly into the micropog, directly going into my amp, which is a 59 basement, completely dry as you can hear. So I'm going to turn this and I'm going to start to hear a little bit of the octave start to uh, come in there. And here it is all the way clockwise, full effect. Turn it off so you can hear the difference. It just gets so low and so very cool. Throw a little bit of distortion on top of that and you got a really great fuzz octave thing happening. Let's take a look at the octave up feature. Again, going completely dry. Turn the pedal on, start mixing it in. There's 100% wet. Turn it off for reference. One of the best things about the MicroPog is its pitch correct notes. It's not warbling, it's not wavering away from the octave up or the octave down that it's supposed to be getting to like some pitch devices can do. This thing is spot on, which is great. That also makes it great not only for single note lines, but also for chords and arpeggiated chords. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to dial up a uh, sub octave, maybe about 70% here, and uh, play some chords. nice, really deep richness to it. I'll turn it off for reference. And back on. Very cool. Let's do the same thing with the octave up this time. We'll dial in about 70% here and uh, do the same thing. It's got a nice 12 string effect to it. Turn it off and play it again for reference. And back on. Again, 
again, like I said, those octaves that the Micropog is giving me is pitch correct, complete detail and articulation, which is so nice to hear from a, a pitch device. And finally, let's mix both together here, and let's do that same test. Turn it off for reference. And back on one more time. got like kind of like a 12 string and a bass playing at the same time and almost has an organ effect to it. It's just very cool. So there's the Micropog, the Exo Series Micropog from Electro Harmonics. Such a killer pitch, uh, multi-pitch, polyphonic octave generator. Check it out.